Today, we have a microphone comparison showdown between three of the best low profile headsets you can get as of 2024 for your work calls and meetings. Most earbuds just don't cut it for work needs on your calls and meetings because they lack in voice quality as well as microphone noise cancellation. And you may not be the biggest fan of wearing a headset worn over your head. So these three options give you an alternative choice to consider. And remember, of course, the microphone is important, but it's not the only thing to consider. There's other factors to look at before you make your choice. I'm recording on my iPhone right now. This is how the Shox OpenCom 2 would sound like on a pretty low windy day. There's not much wind going on here in California. And then you're gonna see a truck drive by in just a moment. This is what it would sound like if a truck drove by and you're on a walk. I'm now connected with the Yealink BH71 to my iPhone. There's gonna be a couple of cars driving by. Still not very windy. There's one car. So this is how it would sound like on the Yealink EH-71 if you were outside walking and talking with cars driving by. I'm now connected to the Poly Voyager 5200 with my iPhone. There's going to be a car driving by. This is what it would sound like if you're on the Poly Voyager 5200 and you were outside on a walk on not the most windy day. If you were in the car using the Shox Open Com 2, this is what it would sound like with AC on full blast. Testing one, two, three. AC is on full blast, moving my head to the left and to the right so you can get an idea of how it sounds. If you're using the BH71, this is what it would sound like in a car with AC on full blast. If you were moving your head around to the right and to the left. So testing one, two, three. We are in a car with AC blasting. If you were in the car using the Poly Voyager 5200 with the AC on full blast, this is what it would sound like if you were moving your head around with AC on full blast. In a quiet work environment, this is how the shocks open COM2 would sound like. Testing one, two, three. There's no background noise. Testing one, two, three. In a quiet working environment, this is how the Yaling BH71 would sound like. Testing one, two, three. There's no background noise. Testing one, two, three. In a quiet work environment, this is how the Poly Voyager 5200 would sound like. Testing one, two, three. There's no background noise. Testing one, two, three. With a baby crying, this is what it would sound like. Testing one, two, three. There's a loud baby crying. Testing one, two, three. And with that same noise playing and neat noise canceling software turned on, this is what it would sound like. Testing one, two, three. There's a loud baby crying. Testing one, two, three. If there was a baby crying, this is what it would sound like. Testing one, two, three. There's a loud baby crying. Testing one, two, three. This is what it would sound like with those same noises playing with the baby crying. Testing one, two, three. This is with neat noise canceling software. Testing one, two, three. With a baby crying, this is what it would sound like. Testing one, two, three. There's a baby crying. Testing one, two, three. And with that same test and neat noise canceling software turned on, this is what it would sound like. Testing one, two, three. There's a loud baby crying. Testing one, two, three. In a loud open office environment, this is what it would sound like. Testing one, two, three. There's a loud open office environment. Testing one, two, three. If you were in a loud open office call center environment, this is what it would sound like. Testing one, two, three. Loud open office background noise. Testing one, two, three. In a loud open office environment, this is what it would sound like. Testing one, two, three. There's a loud open office environment playing. Testing one, two, three. You had a fan blowing. This is what it would sound like. Testing one, two, three. There's a fan blowing. Testing one, two, three. If you had a fan blowing on the microphone, this is what it would sound like. Testing one, two, three. There's a fan blowing on the microphone. Testing one, two, three. You had a fan blowing on the outside of the microphone. This is what it would sound like. Testing one, two, three. There's a fan blowing. Testing one, two, three. If you were typing on a keyboard, this is what it would sound like. Testing one, two, three. Typing on a keyboard. Testing one, two, three. If you were typing on a keyboard, this is what it would sound like. Testing one, two, three. Typing on a keyboard. Testing one, two, three. You're typing on a keyboard. This is what it would sound like. Testing one, two, three. Typing on a keyboard. Testing one, two, three.
Now that you heard the different microphone comparisons, let us know your thoughts in the comments below on which one you felt like performed best. When you heard the different microphone comparisons, I added a quick sample of what the microphone would sound like if you had Neep noise canceling software on. If you were wondering what that is, Neep is a noise canceling software that is going to further improve the noise cancellation on your microphone. So if you get either one of these headsets or even a different headset, and you're just looking to further block out the background noise to be heard clearly, that's what Neep does. Visit neep.com to learn more, and you can try it yourself free for seven days. That's it for this video. If you found it helpful, give it a like as that helps support our channel and consider subscribing for more videos just like this in the future.